Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. Y'all know why you're here. So this is going to be just some updates, some things that are going on regarding the cast. So, um... Mel has a 40% sale going on right now with 7th Avenue Beauty. Uh, Sunny did a live, I believe it was the other day, the other morning, and it sounded like she's come to terms or kind of admitted that Moses is in jail, but she didn't say that specifically, but basically alluded to her being, quote, all alone. And basically said that she kept it classy at the reunion and that other people uh, were doing the most and, and acting however. Um, so basically she didn't have to. But does that mean that you didn't, you know, bring what you were supposed to to the reunion? Or you were just playing it cool? Are you alluding to Destiny being the one who was turned up? Like, I'm just trying to figure out uh, what that was about. And um, it sounds like, um, you know, this is, again, the second cast member. It sounds like the show's renewed, but it hasn't been an official announcement. But remember, in Nell's live, she said that they resume filming on January 1st. So I don't know whether or not Sunny will be back next season and how Moses is, um, you know, him being basically locked up, how that's going to impact, you know, whether or not she can return to the show or be on the show or have a storyline. I, uh, you know, and basically said that she explained her story and why she was on the show at the reunion and explained, um, you know, and wants to document her IVF journey and basically said that even with all the trials and tribulations that uh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And I was like, so does that mean you're pregnant or no? Right. Uh, so that was that with her. Uh, Tisha posted a video of... Uh, Scott Manor and, uh, you know, Marceau at the construction site and then all the things and uh, riding in a tractor and everything else. Um, and uh, she was like, so the video was interesting because it was like playing music at first. And then she was like talking, but then I couldn't hear anything that she said. So maybe Scott Manor is, you know, going on the same type of timeline as Chateau Charest. You know, maybe that's what, you know, this is all about, right? Uh, so nonetheless, I have a feeling we'll probably see scenes of this, uh, you know, uh, in the future season, if the show comes back, they'll continue to talk about the Scott Manor stuff and, and all the things. Um, so next we need to get to, uh, Stormy, Stormy Steel, you guys, because, Stormy had a 24-hour live that was yesterday, and it was several flash sales. It was, um, you know, you could get discounts on the body glaze, on the body oils, all of these things, right? And, and at different points, uh, she was running specials for the um, her signature fragrance, right? So apparently... Uh, some time in, the live mysteriously ended, and people didn't know if it was a connection issue or some other issue, but basically when Stormy got back or she got wind of things, she found out that it was because her live was being reported, and it got reported to the point of getting shut down. And then she went live again, and then I think it might have went out a second time, but then I think after that, uh, she was able to, like, resume the live. Um, so I guess there was just issues. People were leaving vulgar comments and all of these things. Now, of course, people are going to spin this, and they're going to try to blame the millimeters. just to give you a heads up, right? I don't know if anybody said it or not, but I'm going to tell you that's going to be the narrative. The, the millimeters infiltrated Stormy's live on TikTok. But my thing is this, if you're a millimeter and a mel supporter and you don't support Stormy, you wouldn't even have known about this 24 hour live. You wouldn't have gotten the text alerts uh, about this 24 hour live if, if you're actually a millimeter and you don't support Stormy, right? 
And so nonetheless, uh, you know, there's a big issue that Stormy has with all of these dupes that are out for the, you know, Canvas Beauty. Some saying exactly Canvas Beauty that are selling their stuff for like $7 and $9. Some of them are actually a scam. But there are some businesses that came out before Stormy, you guys, uh, that was selling body glaze, right? And so nonetheless, uh, you know, how do you know that some of these other copycat uh, businesses or businesses that had body glaze and body oils prior to Stormy weren't the ones that was reporting her lie, right? Because that can impact, that's gonna impact them, right? Because Stormy has a larger following, Stormy has more sales, so therefore, if they're trying to, you know, push out their body glaze and their body oils, why aren't they being accused of the ones that are reporting the lives? And there have been some viral uh, reviews to Stormy's new fragrance in which people, uh, you know, said it wasn't for them, said it wasn't for them, said that they didn't like it. Uh, and all the things we're looking for a particular scent think it might you know be more for an older demographic and and was giving constructive criticism because a lot of people didn't know you know what to expect and so stormy was throwing in additional deals if you bought this signature scent of additional samples and and all of these things but nonetheless you know the millimeters have to stop being blamed for everything right like I said, if you had no information about this live, about this 24 hour live, how would you know to be over at TikTok reporting stuff or leaving vulgar comments? I, I think you are under whoever is putting that out there, right? Because I know somebody's going to, right? I think people are underestimating the number of Stormy customers who have not received orders who have received orders that there might have been issues with their order itself, whether they received the wrong package or their package leaked or something wasn't properly secured and it spilled all over the box and, and all of these things. And, um, you know, and, and some people are just not satisfied with the product and that's okay. It's not the fault of the millimeters though. That's in any business that people are may not be satisfied with the product. But the stuff that Stormy's going through, where people are just, you know, getting delays on their orders or not getting their orders at all, or stuff's coming up leaked or completely spilled into their packages and everything else, and they can't use it, neither have to get, you know, things reshipped to them or get a refund. Like that falls back, you know, on, you know, this whole process of everything from, you know, the customer service to the packaging, to the transport, to everything else. But there's been too many complaints, you guys, about different things that pertain to Stormy's business that you can't blame the millimeters for. You just can't do it. There are genuine customers who are on TikTok who know nothing about Stormy being on Love and Marriage Huntsville. So you're going to accuse them of being millimeters as well? You're going to accuse them of being paid by somebody that's a Mel fan or a Mel supporter to give Stormy a bad review? No, 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 no. It's not that deep, you guys. Like I said, you know, people need to provide these receipts that it is, in fact, Mel fans, that it is, in fact, millimeters that were the ones leaving vulgar comments that the ones were reporting Stormy's live. Because I honestly don't believe that they even knew that Stormy was doing a 24-hour live, to be completely honest with you. I don't think they had any clue. I think it is these other businesses that are trying to sell the body glaze, whether they came before Stormy or they're during Stormy or after Stormy or on Tamu or whatever, and they saw that 24 live and they're like, listen, I'm trying to sell the same body glaze. I'm trying to say, um, you know, uh, you know, put up for sale the same body oils. You doing these flash sales right now is going to impact that. So I need to report your live so I can continue my live 
and continue to push my body glaze and my body oil. But my whole thing is this. Stormy, if all of these copycat companies are coming out at this point, why aren't you shutting them down? Why aren't you killing the white label allegations, Stormy? It is my question. Because it shouldn't be to a point where any at any point in time we can kick, click on TikTok. And if you had previously viewed a Stormy Live that was selling the body glaze, it will automatically recommend for you other people that are selling body glaze. And it's not affiliated with Canvas Beauty at all. But it will, you know, it'll recommend other people who are live selling body glaze, who are selling um, some variation of it or um, some variation of body oils and all the things. I don't understand at this point with how popular everything has gotten, why Stormy won't shut these other businesses down. I don't understand it for the life of me. That would be the first thing you would want to do to ensure that your customers are purchasing from the right company. But if you have other companies that are out there, some that are full on scamming people, that's not a good look. That's tarnishing your name and your brand. But the flip side is there are other companies that had put out their own type of body glaze and body oils prior to Stormy. And I don't understand why that's not being taken into consideration. Those companies that are seeing Stormy being the one that blew up and not be potential people that reported this live yesterday. You guys always go to the default. Oh, it's the millimeters. Oh, it's the mel supporters. But y'all never provide any proof. Y'all never say with the fact that, that it is in fact millimeters. You, you guys act like all of Stormy's customers have had all of the same positive experience. That they've all received their orders on time, that all of their stuff came perfectly packaged, that all of their stuff came... I mean, even Stormy mentioned in the live, at the beginning of the live, she was talking about the fact that um, nonetheless that uh, she, uh, there were customers that were complaining and asking if the formulation was different. And her response to that was the change in the weather might alter the change in how something smells. And I was confused because I was like, if it's the same ingredients, it shouldn't matter whether it is summer, winter, spring, or fall. It should have the same scent regardless. So I found that to be a little bit weird that some of her own customers are saying something is different with the scent. But there has to be some accountability here. There has to be some ownership here on, on what it is. And and that's the piece that, you know, nonetheless, uh, you know, what what is taking place. But. I believe she completed her 24 hours when it was all said and done. I So, you know, we'll see what happens. She was sh previewing some new products, some new um, labels that she has for some upcoming things and all of that good stuff. Um, and we went from there. And so she has a big time live that I believe she's going to be doing for Black Friday and it's going to, I think that's when the candles and everything else is going to be uh, coming out. And, you know, we'll see what, and, and I think she said car, um, car fresheners and, and, and uh, room spray and all these other things. So, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens from there. But nonetheless, you guys. You guys are only looking so not narrow minded in tunnel vision and don't realize how big these other companies that are emerging with these body glazes and how it's on Tamu, how it's on Walmart, how it's on all of these other platforms and Stormy has not taken any legal action. Why? Why wouldn't you shut all of this down so that there's no confusion? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. 
So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.